Hey, it's Pierre. I have a review for you today of the Technofiber Carboflex X Speed 135. This is one of the Carboflex X Speed models, and I've done a couple reviews already of the 125, the 125 NS, the 130, and now I'm going to do the 135. So, this is the heaviest of the uh, X Speed range, and whoops. Crucially, it has a slightly thicker shaft. This is the 135 on this side. And you can see the shaft is a bit, a bit thicker than the 125, which is what I got in my other hand. So this is more of a for more of an intermediate player, and is priced a little bit less than the other. Technofiber X Speed Carboflexes. I had a hit with it the other day, and I'm gonna do a gameplay video of that. But honestly, this is a pretty good racket. Uh, the the specs on this were, you know, it's a it came in on my scale all in at 160 grams, so it was maybe eight to nine grams. Heavier than the than the lighter than the one the two 125 models, so not much. The balance point was 35 and a half centimeters, so so actually feels head lighter. It's just well, I guess a lot of that weight is um, uh, you know some of that weight's in the in the shaft I suppose, and so it's the head feels lighter in your hand. You know I I, I came off playing with one of the other X speeds before this. And honestly, of course, that's a quick transition because the frame was the same. It's just the shaft, the the head shape part of the frame is is um, is the same, but it's just the shaft that's that's different. So, you know, I didn't detect a huge difference. Maybe it feels a little more stable because of that the thicker um, the thicker shaft. It doesn't necessarily feel. I guess I suppose it feels. I didn't. I, I should check for this, and I'll and I'll follow up on it later. Which is, is it a little bit less vibration because of that thicker shaft? And I should have a. Um, I should think about that for um, for the future. But I just want to say that this was a. Um, this is a quality racket, and it, I think it's if you're a uh, new or kind of intermediate player, and you you want to have a Technofiber, but don't necessarily want to drop. Um, as much uh, dough on on your racket as one of the high end ones. Uh, this is a good one to check out. I mean, really, the only thing about it is cosmetically, it kind of gives you that with that thicker shaft. It's you can sort of notice that it's maybe the 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 racket for the intermediate player. But really, with the cosmetics, it's not like it screams beginner, right? I mean, it looks. This is the the high end. This is their highest end racket right here. This is the Shirbagi one. Um, and it looks, you know, it's consistent with the with the, the current Technofiber X Speed uh, range. So I think they've done a good thing here, which is they haven't just like shafted you with a crappy racket if you're uh, an intermediate player. They've made a they've made a, a solid um, uh, and quite playable racket. So thank you to Mary Beth from Technofiber for providing this racket for me to test out, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks. Hey, so this is some gameplay for those who want to see the racket in action. This again is the Technofiber Carboflex X Speed 135 racket. And I am wearing the Harrow Typhoon shoes here and I'm playing my friend Richard.